a tour and feature overview of ClearCheckbook.com. ClearCheckbook lets you take control of your money by viewing reports, tracking your spending, setting up budgets, and more. Here we'll show you some of the key features of ClearCheckbook and how to use the site. This is the account dashboard. Here you can get an overview of the entire site at a glance. We have gadgets for just about every feature of the site so you can customize this page to show you whatever is most important to you. With each of the gadgets you can minimize them if you want to hide them, you can also move them wherever you would like on the page. Depending on what you do, some of the gadgets talk to each other, so let's say you want to add a transaction. Once the transaction gets added, the latest transactions, reports, account overviews, and limits gadgets are all updated. We have a help menu available on the top of every page that shows custom frequently asked questions based on what page you're viewing. You can easily add new gadgets by clicking on the Add New Gadget panel and selecting the gadget you want to add. Again, this is a great place for a quick overview of the entire site. Now we're going to drill down into the site a little bit more and show off the main features. The first is the transaction register. The transaction register is the meat and potatoes of the site. All other features of the site revolve around your transactions. The register in its most basic form is simply an online version of your old checkbook register. You can easily add transactions, view your account overviews, which just shows you your balances for all of your accounts. You can select to view specific accounts, so that'll show just the accounts for, for that or just the transactions for that account. You can also view just withdrawals, deposits, and transfers if you just want to view uh, specific transactions. Editing transactions is easy. Simply click on the transaction you want to edit and a form appears below it. You can change any part of the transaction you would like. Once you edit the transaction, you can see all the details have changed as well as your balances. Deleting a transaction is as simple as selecting the transaction you, you want to delete and then clicking the delete button. There's no limit to the number of transactions you can store on the site. We show 30 transactions per page and let you choose whatever page you would like to view. Next up are the reports. We have reports that show your overall spending and saving as well as reports that show your spending in your assigned categories. The account reports show an overall report and individual reports for each of your accounts. You can toggle between line and bar charts for the reports. We have a few different ways to view your category spending. The first off is a conglomeration of all your categories. You can, do, you can select individual categories and view them one off or together, so you can view two reports against each other. Below these reports, we show you how much you spent in each of your categories for the past 12 months. We also have pie charts so you can see your category spending for each month compared against each other in percentages. We also show you the total for each category for each month. We also have some reports that are specific for premium members. You can check these out in the next video. The budgets are a great way to track your spending. You can set up a budget on any of your accounts or categories. You can, create a, you can create a new limit by entering an amount, what it's going to be applied to, in this case you can select any of your accounts or categories, what day you want the limit to reset on, so the first of the month, the middle of the month, etc., and whether you want it to roll over, and this just means that the money you don't spend one month gets compiled into the next month. Editing and deleting limits are very easy. Just click on the link of, for what you want to do. If you want to make sure you don't spend more than a certain amount a month, our budgets are a great way to do that. Another great tool are the notes. The notes let you add just that, any kind of notes to the site. It's great for upcoming purchases, things you need to do, just reminders, anything along those lines. Once you add a note, it'll show up in the list below and on your dashboard if you, if you turn on the, the notes gadget. You can also reorder the notes. Editing a note is as simple as clicking on it and changing your information. 
Another thing I'd like to point out is you can add a transaction from any page by clicking on the little Add button at the top. Exporting transactions from Clear Checkbook is really easy. You just select what format you'd like to export to, your date range, and if this is a specific account or category. Importing transactions is also a breeze. Simply find the file you want to import, click Load File, and then let the site know what field you're importing. You can also select date ranges and what account the transactions are being imported into. The spending limits and budgets are the same thing. Next up are reminders and recurring transactions. This tool lets you schedule transactions and set reminders. You can view a list of your reminders on the right hand side. When you add a reminder, you simply select a few options, enter a name for the reminder, when you want it to occur, whether you want a transaction associated with it or not. In this case, we're going to add a transaction to this reminder. You just fill it out like you would a normal transaction. When you add the reminder, it shows up on your list and on the calendar on the left side. Editing reminders is easy. Simply click on the reminder and change what you need to. The calendars on the left show what days you have reminders set to occur. You can move back and forth through the calendars by clicking on the arrows at the top. We offer a few other helpful tools such as an iGoogle gadget and a Mac OS X dashboard gadget. Both of these can be downloaded directly from the site. The next thing I'm going to show you is the search tool. The search tool can be reached from the top of every page. Simply click on the search button and enter any kind of search criteria you'd like. We give you some default date ranges or you can create your own. You can select any kind of accounts or categories that you have created or search by keyword or other information. The search page will show you a list of transactions based on the search criteria. Now I'm going to show you some of the settings. We can easily create some accounts, view existing accounts, or edit existing accounts. You can see some accounts have been marked as inactive. This means you want to hide the accounts but want to keep the history of all the transactions there. Creating accounts is easy. Simply enter the name, select a currency, and any kind of initial balance that may be involved. Next up are the categories. The categories are handled in a similar way to the accounts. You can create accounts, view existing ones, and edit existing ones. These accounts are used in the reports we saw a little earlier. Date formatting and time zones are also available. From this page you can change your email and password and handle some other premium features. The general settings can be changed to affect various functions throughout the site. Thanks for watching the Clear Checkbook Tour. If you ever have any questions or comments, please send an email to contact at clearcheckbook.com or use the Contact Us link at the bottom right side of every page on the site. Thank you.